Now what I generally do is I just take the dog, the young puppy, and I, I take the puppy and I just place him on top of the grate. And then that way he's uh, like doing the steps. It's kind of like forcing the dog to um, deal with it and walk off of it. Just set the dog down on the crate. Let him see. This dog just walks right over it. The older dogs have problems. Just keep walking your dog. Now he's seeing that he's on something, right? But it's no big deal. Let him walk on it. Good boy. Good boy. Just tell him he's doing a good job, right? This one moves around a little bit. So we'll move over here to this one and see this one doesn't move around. So we walk the dog on it, get him used to it, good boy, and just tell the dog he's being good. You do this when they're young, you teach them to walk on the grate, and it's no big deal, right? If you wait until they're older and your dog hesitates, just put the dog, just kind of drag the dog onto the grate and to make them deal with it. They'll stop being afraid as soon as they uh, see that it's no big deal. Now, Tonka, he doesn't give a damn. So, generally, what, you, what you'll do is, what I do is, like, I'll walk him on these grates for a couple days, and this is uh, on the G line, so there's not not a lot of uh, anything going on underneath. And then I'll take him, and I'll take him to the L line, where there's uh, where there's more traffic with the trains. And then uh, that way, so he gets used to it. And then um, by the time we get to the L train, he doesn't really give a shit what's going on underneath it. But it really is important to get your dog used to. Um, this stuff that it's going to see like every day. I mean, if your dog lives in the city and it doesn't walk on a grate, you, you have a, a large problem. Tonka's grabbing something. Hey, and while we're on the subject, man, you with your puppy, you constantly have to take stuff out of their mouth. They're constantly pick, picking up sticks and stuff. Come on, Tonk, here. Just encourage the dog to walk on a good boy. And you're not going to have any problems. This guy is not going to have any problems with walking on grates. It's very important. Get your dog used to everything when it's young like this and you won't have any problems you know when they're older if you wait then you have to like um, uh, kind of change the dog's behavior but as you see Tonka doesn't really care about walking on this and that's what you want to do you want to make it no big deal when they're puppies Tonka here Tonka here good boy when they're puppies take advantage of it they don't they don't suspect that there's anything unusual about it the dog sees you walking on top of the grate it should walk on the grate too. Here, Tonka, here. Here, good boy. Good boy, that's good, Tonk. Here, Tonka, sit. Good boy. Keep working the sit too, people. You got a puppy? This is a, a perfect time to just keep it positive. Don't worry about any kind of, um, uh, you don't have to use any type of correction here at this point. Just, um, just keep it positive. That's a good dog, Tonk is. So the sign of an unconfident dog would be a dog that like won't walk where you walk. If I walk on the grate, my, my older dog should walk on the grate too. So I, we did this as he's a, when he was a puppy, he has no problem walking on top of grates. Make your dog confident. If your dog doesn't, your old dog is older and does not want to walk on these grates, you need to teach it to walk on the grate. Listen, as a rule of thumb, if your dog is hesitating or something, the more it just sits there and stews about it, the harder it is for the dog. So just pull the dog onto the grate. Put the dog in the center. Just let the dog sit there for a little bit and then, you know, let him move off the, uh, off the grate. But the dog should really understand that if you walk on it, there should be no problem with him walking on it. Heel. Just pull him onto a grate and he'll figure out that there's nothing to be afraid of. This is Rainy. She's a Labradoodle. And uh, as you see, uh, she doesn't just look like a Labradoodle. She looks like the smallest wolfhound. I swear to God, some of these uh, Labradoodles, they look like a fucking mini wolfhound. The dog probably weighs 60, 65 pounds, but it, it does. It looks like a fucking little wolfhound. Look at, look at this dog. Good looking dog. I love the Labradoodles. It's like you get the... Uh, uh, I, I thought about getting a Labradoodle and uh, training it to do what Tonka's doing, but, um, you know, what the hell. Anyway, this is Rainy. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all, let's all go to the lobby.